Our DeSantis visited Port Canaveral today to talk about the future of the cruise line industry. DeSantis called on the CDC to rescind its no sale order and get sailing back on track. He pointed to the substantial losses reported by the port. New Six's Lauren Cervantes was listening into the roundtable discussion and joins us now with more on that, Lauren. Well, as you said, the governor calling on the CDC to rescind its no sale order that is currently in effect until November 1st of this year. And the governor was joined by presidents of many of the major cruise lines, all commenting on their frustrations and the impact the no sale order has had on them. What most people don't realize, the impact this has on vendors, on business partners, communities, including the folks right here in Port Canaveral, Governor, they're struggling. They're struggling. Let's get people back to work. The health situation has changed. The president of Disney Cruise Lines calling for the governor to help them get ships sailing again. We need to be able to get these cruise lines operating again. Governor Ron DeSantis holding a roundtable discussion saying he wants to look at a way forward for the cruise line industry. In Florida, you know, we have everything going on except the cruise lines because the federal government won't, won't let the cruise lines sail. The CDC won't let them sail. The estimated losses for Florida during the first six months of the pandemic due to the cruise industry shutdown is $3.2 billion in economic activity, according to the governor's office. The panel today also discussing the impact on jobs. We too suffer in, in, from an economic and jobs perspective. We, we employ uh, a few thousand employees in, in our headquarters in Miami and our satellite office in, uh, in Sunrise, Florida, and have had to lay off hundreds of them. Port Canaveral talked about the hit they've taken during the pandemic. A cruise represents about 80% of our book of business and 80% uh, of our revenue stream. And, and uh, for the last year, it's been particularly hard at Port Canaveral says he and the attorney general Ashley Moody are discussing what potential options they have on the legal side. In Brevard County, I'm Lauren Cervantes getting results, News 6.